Olá pessoal, aqui é o Tiago, só vamos lá então mais um episódio de Red Dead Redemption 2 Vamos ver que missões temos para fazer uh, Temos aqui para a Abigail e para o Lenny Vamos para já fazer esta para a Abigail E depois logo vimos que dá tempo do episódio 2 para fazermos a missão para o Lenny, ok? Vamos lá Aí Arthur, onde é que tu estás maluco? Sim, quero gravar Ok, vamos lá, calma, cuidado. <risos> Não caias, maluco. Bora lá. Vamos ver o que é que a Abigail quer. Ok, aqui está ela. Hey, Arthur. O que está acontecendo? José e John estão procurando por você. Eles foram para o Moonshine Stash e disseram que você sabia onde isso foi. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <clears throat> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Okay. Final parece que vamos fazer uma missão para com o Hosea. Não percebi o porquê de falar com a Abigail, mas okay. Onde é que ele é está? Ok, está para lá. Vamos lá então aqui montar no Roach <coughs> e vamos a isso. Está aqui. Z está para aqui. É tu andas, meu. Que é que se passa? Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. Propaganda a nova arte americana para todos. Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Ah, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll set it. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Hey. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Entrega o Moonshine na mansão Braithwaite. Ok, a oportunidade para então para conhecermos os Braithwaite. Para conhecermos os... Gray. Quer dizer, conhecemos apenas o Boa e o Sheriff. Pois. E dos Braithwaite apenas conhecemos a Penelo, acho que é Penelo, em nome da... I know. The passion do bull. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been. Desculpa lá, pessoal. Estou um pouco constipado. The mind boggles. Do you think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hello. What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean, no harm, no harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. Okay. Ok, she's at the house. Ok, tu vais à boleia, é? Então vamos lá. We'll be watching you. Desculpa lá, pessoal, como disse. Tenho lá com este tipo de porra. Ok. 
Ok, isto é uma rotunda. Eu passo pelo meio. O que você quer? Encontrei algo. Lá nas hills. Pensei que talvez você estava no mercado para isso. Para o que? Algum licor? Eu não estou no mercado para o que está sobre o meu. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. And <clears throat> Indeed. Listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Okay. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. Bora lá. Princesa Sossega, maluca. Senta-te aí, sossegadinha. Vai lá, minha casulinha. Princesa, vai te sentar, maluca. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. Yep. That don't surprise me. Alright. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're... Inserting ourselves pois. in his blood. Realmente, também não me parece uma boa ideia, mas ok. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. <laughs> oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Then. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Enfim, continuando. Parece que agora somos retardados. Segundo o Rosé. Senhor, será que isto vai correr bem? Não sei, maluco. That wagon must have cost you a pretty penny or two. Aqui. É pra aqui. E agora, José? Ok, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to. Strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Okay, pega um moonshine na traseira da carroça. Gentlemen, gentlemen, quite the 
town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people <coughs> buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Pa para trás, para trás do bar no salão. Ok. Para aqui. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Como um maluco, bem bom aí. <risos> oh, olha para eles, todos loucos. <risos> é já maluco. Toma lá, maluco. Parece que está a ser um pouco do controle. Está é? ele. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, <laughs> Isso, anda tiro, maluco. Boa. Isso. Eu tenho para saqueá-lo. A sério? Não se partiu o vidro. Grande mentira. Bora, maluco. Falta isso. 
Am spenden. <lacht> Push. Qualquer coisinha Isso Ui, ui, mais Okay, acho que tá. Bem, foi tenso, não foi fácil, maluco. E a câmera. Ok, tá bom. Never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Cooper Gun. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Okay. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. <clears throat> oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. 
<laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Ok. Missão concluída, propaganda, a nova arte americana. A nova arte americana, mais uma vez, peço desculpa pela minha garganta. E agora temos missões para o Lenny. E temos aqui para o John Marston, que está um, com o Javier na propriedade dos Grey. Tem algo a ver com os cavalos premiados dos Great Weight. E o José uh, e o Sean que estão na mansão Braithwaite enquanto... Enfim, a tentar fazer amizade, digamos assim, com a Catherine. Está certo. E é isso que vamos fazer então no próximo episódio. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Foi um episódio divertido, ok? Eu gostei bastante, diverti-me imenso. Espero que vocês tenham gostado mais uma vez. Se gostaram, deixem o vosso likezinho, que ajude imenso o canal. Se puderem também partilhar com amigos e família. Não. Não, não, 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 para ajudar o canal, ok? Uh, Inscrevam-se também se não, se, se não são inscritos e, e, e são novos por aqui. Já me estou a baralhar todo. Uh, enfim, partilham com amigos e família para ajudarem também o canal a crescer mais. Uh, ativem também o sininho quando o clique para receber notificações cada vez que eu gostar um vídeo novo aqui no canal. Amanhã sai então um novo episódio de uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Este foi, obviamente, Red Dead Redemption. Dois! Obrigado pessoal e até a próxima!